Welcome to Bass Kayak and Beers, and I'm super excited to bring you today's guest. His name is Chris Castro, and when I say accomplished, I mean this guy has accomplished some feats that no one in the history of kayak or saltwater kayak fishing has ever been able to accomplish. He holds his own TV show called Next Level Fishing TV. With trophy trout, you know, I think it's pretty important to take care of your gear. Uh, I go through them a lot, year in, year out. And, you know, this year is no different. You know, we're on a lot of these fish, and, you know, I can handle a fault of my own, but whenever gear hiccups and that causes a loss of a, a, an amazing fish, you know, that's tough to swallow. As we're cleaning our gear you know there's a little bit of excitement in the air every single time we go out there these trout just keep getting bigger and so everything has to be primed and just ready for that special moment The buildup to a trout bite is really special. It's like none other, if you ask me. Occasionally, I'll get asked, you know, what do you, what do you prefer? Do you prefer an eight pound trout or an eight pound redfish? And, you know, that's so complicated to, to answer, but, you know, I'm always gonna have to lean towards trout only because, uh, for me, it's my most coveted species. It's the one species that I never really had help with. Um, I sort of had to learn it really from ground up. And, you know, when you do that as an angler, you tend to cherish those, uh, I don't want to say moments, but you definitely cherish those species that you really earned. It's weird how whenever they were hooking up, that was when I was hooking up. Oh. Just in the last few weeks, you know, the average uh, poundage has really just gone up. You know, we've gone from getting those two pound consistent trout, now we're looking at four pounders, four and five pound trout as an average. trout long enough you don't need a fancy scientific explanation as to why and today regardless of any type of explanation or breakdown I know yeah. that there's big trout near me trout fishing it's one of the species that you really you don't want to fall asleep on you want to be able to fish till the very end your last cast could be that cast That's basically what happened on this day, you know, we're, we're out fishing, uh, my tournament partner Poco and I. Off to the distance, my tournament partner Poco is telling me a fishing story, and I'm trying to figure out if one's brewing right here in front of me as we speak. Oh, this is a hog. 
There's no doubt about it that we have a big trout on. But is it the trophy that we're after? Just got my first clear sight of this trout. And now that I know we have a trophy hooked up, I'll analyze every little detail to figure out how I want to board this fish. Oh, he's barely on. He's barely on. When it comes to rigging a kayak, you know, I rig for multiple personalities. And, and what that means to me is, you know, there, there's a certain attitude for offshore and there's a certain attitude for inshore. And so it's, it's very different. The first thing that I wanted to do with this kayak was completely rig it out with tracks. So I went ahead and used the expanded track from Railblazer and everything is covered in it. So that I can have that option to rig heavy or go very light. So let's go from bow to stern. I'll show you guys what we have cooking. Right on the left and right hand flanks of the PDL drive, there's a couple plates there, uh, which for me, uh, you know, I, I do quite a bit of recording, and that's the area where I'm going to mount my front boom sticks to record all my frontal footage that's looking towards me. It's in good range, you know, the, this kayak is very stable, so it's very easy to get up, reach ahead, and pivot any angles or any adjustments that I might need to make on those boom sticks. And then after that, you know, the, the bread and butter really is what's at arm's reach, whether it's inshore or offshore, even if it's shallow water. If I'm not scanning ground in just a few feet of water for any type of reefs, then I'll just use it for chart plotting. Uh, I put in a lot of miles, so sometimes I can get lost out there. Guys, my name is Chris Castro with the ACK Fishing Team. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Well, if you know anything about Paul Brown lures, you know that there's two oh, treble hooks. And unfortunately, the only thing that's separating myself between a loss and a landing is one small treble hook around the lip. I know I don't show too much enthusiasm. Shh, that's a Poco special right there, dude. But trust me, I'm stoked. God, damn, this fish was that close from getting yeah. away from us, and I was fortunate enough to get one good shot at a netting. Had this fish decided uh, to go berserker at any given time during that moment, I could have easily lost this trout. Guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Next Level Fishing right TV. There. The series is far from over. And we're looking forward to you guys coming and watching the next trophy. Right. What's up? <laughs> Try. It's all good, I guess. I got one like that, but I don't know if it's that fat. I think this one. Yeah, that one five and a half. Man, that's a big shit, bro. That's a hell of a thing to eat. Fucking stout, bro. I bet we got 40 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Ram had a chance to actually catch fish. <laughs> I missed that. Oh, here's your. Uh, <laughs> Appreciate it.